Today, we'll be taking a look at the vent hose on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, you must first remove this top here. Of course, it is held on by two Phillips screws on the back. Next, be very careful. Let's slide this sharp metal off. Lift it up and set it to the side. Now that we have the top removed, we have clear access to our vent hose. This is just basically an exhaust hose when it goes through spin. The main reason why you'd be needing to replace it is if the unit is leaking. Sometimes suds will come up and just splash up at the top here. If you have a hole in it, it's going to leak down the back and on your floor. If that happens, the piece will need to be replaced. Now in order to replace it first, we have one clamp on the back. You will pinch it with your fingers here. Just start to pull it off. And then you'll grab the hose and pull it off the back. Then the top, you just have one Phillips tip clamp on here. This works like a worm clamp. Twist it off and loosen it. Once you have it loosened, just pull up on the accordion and set it to the side. When installing a new hose, Make sure you have put your old clamps on it. And first, we're going to get it in place. And I'm actually going to slide the back one on first thing, just so it's not flopping around here. Slide it on the tube and go as far back as you can. Then, with this one, there's little slits on here that correspond with these ridges on the tub. So when you're sliding it down, that's the direction you'll slide it. Go down as far as you can, and then make sure when you press the top of the rubber that you can feel the plastic in there. Tighten the clamp here. Let's go ahead and reinstall the finger clamp on the top. So we'll pinch it, pull it all the way back as far as you can. Now we can reinstall the top. When reinstalling your top panel, be very careful. We don't want to slice and dice. Let's go ahead and sit it down. You'll want about an inch away from the front. That's where it actually drops down. And then you can slide it forward and it should match up with the front. Let's reinstall the two screws on the back. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.